China has conquered the sea and no one can hide from China anymore. China recently unveiled a 5,000 ton vessel devoid of weaponry across its structure. Interestingly, the sight of this unarmed ship prompted a US nuclear submarine to retreat. In this video, we delve into the sea-based platform designed for Trinity nuclear strikes. A while back, China introduced a massive sea beast, a colossal 5,000-ton double-hulled ship. It didn't carry any weapons, but its ability to uncover hidden nuclear submarines made it the ocean's most feared ghostly hunter, capable of striking without being seen. This raised a question. Why did American nuclear submarines fear it? And what made this new national heavy weapon so special? In the realm of maritime defense, the United States spearheaded the development of a groundbreaking weapon known as the Hydroacoustic Survey Ship. This innovation, designed to counter the escalating threats posed by nuclear submarines worldwide, showcased the US's commitment to maintaining naval supremacy. As we delve into the 1980s and 1990s, a pivotal era for underwater technology, the US emerged as a formidable force by constructing various types of underwater acoustic survey ships. During this period, the rapid evolution of nuclear submarine technology prompted the United States to recognize the strategic importance of countering underwater threats. The increasing sophistication of global submarine capabilities heightened the need for advanced detection systems to safeguard maritime interests. Among the noteworthy creations was the renowned Impeccable Survey Ship, a testament to U.S. innovation in underwater surveillance. Equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including the most advanced underwater passive surveillance towed array sonar available at the time, the Impeccable emerged as a pinnacle in anti-submarine detection. Its capabilities extended beyond mere detection, integrating tools such as a sound velocity measuring instrument, sound tracker, and satellite communication system. Surprisingly, the United States strategically deployed the impeccable beyond its territorial waters. Instead of confining its use to domestic surveillance, the U.S. navigated the impeccable into the South China Sea, unveiling a covert mission to gather intelligence. This unexpected turn highlighted the vessel's versatility and underscored the U.S. US's proactive approach in monitoring and responding to evolving geopolitical dynamics. Upon entering the South China Sea, the Impeccable, designed for tracking Chinese nuclear submarines, faced a blockade by five Chinese Navy law enforcement ships. This incident marked a turning point, prompting China's military industry to recognize the critical importance of underwater operations. In response to the Impeccable incident, China's military industry initiated a comprehensive development program focusing on underwater acoustic measurement ships. These specialized vessels aim to enhance the precision of monitoring underwater vehicles. The result of this endeavor is the Type 927 Hydroacoustic Survey Ship Project. The domestically produced Type 927 Underwater Acoustic Measurement Ship showcases China's commitment to advancing maritime capabilities. With a design reminiscent of the American survey ship Impeccable, both vessels feature a catamaran structure. The Type 927 boasts a length of approximately 90 meters, a width of 30 meters, and a full load displacement of around 5,000 tons. Its impressive maximum speed at sea reaches 12 knots. The introduction of the Type 927 hydroacoustic survey ship has significantly influenced international naval dynamics. Notably, American nuclear submarines reportedly alter their courses to avoid detection when encountering this advanced Chinese vessel, highlighting the ship's effectiveness in disrupting traditional naval strategies. In adverse sea conditions marked by strong winds and waves, the Type 927 survey vessel demonstrates exceptional stability, owing to its innovative double-hole design. This specialized underwater acoustic survey ship boasts a cutting-edge integrated electric propulsion system within its power plant. The system ingeniously employs a diesel engine to drive a generator. 
while a separate generator propels the dedicated propulsion motor, strategically placed on the vessel's hull. The incorporation of this electric propulsion technology ensures a steady operational pace for the Type 927, albeit with a reduced maximum speed of 12 knots. However, this compromise is justified by the significant reduction in the inherent noise produced during navigation, a crucial factor for the vessel's primary role as an anti-submarine detection ship. The importance of maintaining a low noise profile becomes evident when considering the implications for underwater sonar accuracy. Excessive noise not only hampers precise underwater detection, but also risks emitting a conspicuous acoustic signal, making the vessel susceptible to detection by lurking underwater nuclear submarines. The potential consequences of such exposure underscore the critical nature of implementing an electric propulsion system that facilitates quiet sailing for the Type 927. Central to the vessel's detection capabilities is the stern-mounted towed sonar port, serving as the primary underwater detection device. This dedicated sonar equipment plays a pivotal role in enhancing the Type 927's effectiveness in anti-submarine operations, ensuring a comprehensive and advanced approach to underwater surveillance. Embedded at the stern of the Type 927 vessel, the sonar detection device boasts a sophisticated domestic long-receiving array CI-towed sonar. This innovative technology enables comprehensive monitoring of the entire sea area, seamlessly integrating with the continuous navigation system of the Type 927 survey spaceship. The underwater sonar streamer, with an impressive length ranging from 1,500 to 1,800 meters, facilitates extensive coverage while achieving a remarkable maximum detection depth of 450 meters. The ship's electronic equipment plays a crucial role in the seamless functionality of the sonar detection device. Real-time recording of sonar detection activities enhances the efficiency of the system. Any exposure of a nuclear submarine triggers an immediate response from the detection system, ensuring swift and effective surveillance. The Type 927 survey ship is equipped with two distinctive sonar detection modes, each serving a specific purpose. The passive sonar mode takes charge of monitoring real-time acoustic signals emitted by underwater objects. In contrast, the active sonar mode emits acoustic signals to search for underwater vehicle acoustic signals, significantly expanding the search range and improving accuracy. Primarily responsible for real-time monitoring, the passive sonar mode constantly analyzes acoustic signals emitted by underwater objects. This mode ensures the prompt detection of any unusual activity, with the capability to identify and track underwater vehicles discreetly. The active sonar mode enhances the ship's detection capabilities by emitting acoustic signals into the underwater environment. This proactive approach broadens the search range, enabling the system to pinpoint underwater vehicle acoustic signals. The increased range and accuracy make the active sonar mode an invaluable asset in the vessel's surveillance toolkit. Upon detecting the trace of a nuclear submarine, the Type 927 survey ship orchestrates a swift and coordinated response. Large ships, armed with formidable anti-submarine weaponry, quickly assemble into a strategic formation to systematically search for the submerged threat. The efficiency of this response is critical in mitigating potential dangers posed by the discovered nuclear submarine. Remarkably, the Type 927 survey ship remains unarmed, relying on its strategic importance in coordinating anti-submarine efforts. The fear instilled by these survey ships in nuclear submarines stems from the uncertainty surrounding the potential reinforcements that may be lurking behind them. The ambiguity of how many warships are poised to seize an opportunity adds an element of unpredictability to the situation. Unlike conventional unarmed survey ships, the Type 927 stands out by incorporating a helicopter platform on its entire deck. This feature facilitates the takeoff and landing of anti-submarine armed helicopters, substantially bolstering the ship's anti-submarine capabilities. The robustness of the anti-submarine system has been notably strengthened, marking a pivotal advancement in China's maritime defense force. Military experts have gone so far as to assert that the value of the Type 927 survey ship rivals that of the formidable Type 055 destroyer.
This underscores the ship's critical role in safeguarding China's waters, dissuading potential invaders. As long as the Type 927 operates in Chinese waters, it serves as a formidable deterrent, deterring any country from attempting to breach China's maritime boundaries. The Type 927 not only excels in detecting nuclear submarines, but also plays a crucial role in various submarine detection projects. Equipped with advanced sonar technology, this survey ship can not only map the ocean floor, but also precisely measure underwater temperature and salinity. This multifaceted detection capability has proven invaluable in enhancing China's research in marine sciences. Despite its relatively short period of active service, the Type 927 has emerged as a pivotal asset in safeguarding China's territorial waters. The ship's deployment has significantly contributed to the protective measures, ensuring the safety of China's maritime territories. As China continues to invest in cutting-edge weaponry, it is anticipated that more advanced vessels with capabilities akin to the Type 927 will be developed to fortify territorial and maritime security. The Type 927 underwater acoustic survey ship stands as a testament to China's commitment to advancing its maritime defense capabilities. As it continues to play a pivotal role in deterring potential threats and contributing to marine research, it is evident that China's arsenal will witness the integration of more technologically sophisticated assets in the near future. If you found this information valuable, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing for more insightful content. Until next time.